Welcome back to Boring Reviews. Boring Land. Oh, Come just on. kidding. Blasphemer. Oh, Hello, my. Boring Review Nation. Kind of pointless. We know all things. All right, welcome back to Born Reviews. Nick here. Jody there. And we are here to check out a new comedian for us, for our eyes and ears, not for you. And we're looking at Gary Delaney. And this is a guy that I've got a lot of requests for just recently, like the last week or so. One one request said, hey, he's the, the partner, the husband of Sarah Millican that you've reacted to. Go ahead and check him out. Someone else said, oh, he's the king of the one-liners. How have you not reacted to him yet? And there's a few others as well. So here we are. Had no idea that she was married to a fellow comedian. Yeah. We know that she's married. She mentions her partner in some of her videos, especially most recently the birthday rules one. Mm -hmm. But um, And I'm not sure how old that is. I'm assuming it's this guy right here. But I'm excited to see um, who he is, how he is. We got a lot of requests, so that's exciting. And I love one-liners. I think they're fantastic. It's just a quick little joke. You set it up. You slay a little punchline there. And some of them will go over my head, like Drax, right? They never go over my head. But <laughs> I would catch it. <laughs> I would catch it. Nothing gets over my head. Uh, and some hopefully I'll be able to get. But um, what do you think about the one-liner style of comedy? Um, I like it. I think that one-liners fly really, really well. Not necessarily like when you're up on stage, but just like when you're talking to people in general. One-liners remind me of Chandler from Friends. Yeah. So I think that they fit really, really well in TV shows, really well in friend groups. Um, I'd be interested to see in how he does it in like a comedic... Because I guess when I think... Oh, this I do not want this to sound bad, but I guess when I think of one-liners, like when you're actually like up on a stage, you know, I think more like amateur style. And then like... When you're like more professional and well-known, you give more lengthy stories, almost like Al Murray or, you know, Trevor Noah. Murray. You are, I didn't even realize You are it. so I committed to drive me crazy. I People in the comment section will still say, it's not Murray. What are you doing? I'm sorry. She knows it's, how to I pronounce it. She just drives it. me crazy. It's a We do have some Al Murray reactions. If you've not noticed that, they're on the channel. Go ahead and check those out. I apologize. I originally started it to be annoying, yes. and now it's like stuck. It's stuck. Mission accomplished. <laughs> but we are, I think the one, I see what you're saying. Absolutely. But if that's what your your niche is, if that's what you're good at. But it just takes so much Ryan, I would think. So much quick yeah, ways of thinking about go, it. Go, 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 For go, me, the go. most famous one-liner would be Rodney Dangerfield. I'm not sure if you know him too well. Um, he passed away a few years ago. But he was the king of the one. He was always the guy that said, I have no respect. You know, get no respect, no respect. Mm. Anyways. Also, um, oh, I can't think of his name. Another guy who's older, he does one of the voices in Toy. Anyways, there's some one-liner um, American comedians as well. I'm excited to learn about Gary Delaney. If you're excited for our reaction to this and you want us to react to more of his videos, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you're aware of our next upload of videos. And this is a compilation, forgot to mention. It says seven minutes of his classic one-liners, but it looks like it's from a certain comedy club over a span of 13 years. So oh, That's crazy. I don't think he's just up there the entire time busting out the one-liners. All right, here we schmuck. I've been attending Gamblers Anonymous for three years, whereas my best mate Dave, he only stuck it out for two and a half, so I won that one. <laughs> yeah, way to be a gambler longer. No, Dave drowned, so at his funeral, we got him a wreath in the shape of a life belt. Uh, well. <laughs> well. <laughs> well. All right, so what he would have wanted. And that's it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I would have wanted for sure. They always say you'll find the love of your life when you're not really looking, which was true, but by then I'd run her over. <laughs> <laughs> My next door neighbor's really loud and obnoxious, and so now I know how Canada feels. <laughs> Like that was a gig. <laughs> I love to hate on US. I bought a thousand raffle tickets for two pound fifty, which is a bargain because normally they're a pound a strip. <laughs> I didn't win. <laughs> I bought a chocolate bar on the inside of the wrapper. It said, "You're a loser." I wouldn't mind if there'd been some sort of competition on. <laughs> <laughs> to make things worse, it was a boost. <laughs> <laughs> As kids, you always enjoyed dipping ginger nuts into a steaming hot cup of tea, but of course, nowadays, that's called bullying. <laughs> <laughs> oh, 
<laughs> I know I shouldn't do that. Ginger jokes. Ginger oh, jokes are kind of the last good. vestiges of racism in comedy. They're supposed to be a hangover yeah. from anti-Celtic prejudice back in the day. Apparently, that's the origin of it. And they've started a ginger pride movement to stamp that shit out. They had a march in Hyde Park. You know. Well, they were going to, but the sun came out and... Oh, <laughs> 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 I did that. He's laughing. Panty liners. That was the worst cruise I've ever been on. <laughs> <laughs> I love the Red Sea. <laughs> no, no, no. That was he a couldn't beautiful, even... disgusted noise. He couldn't even get it out. No. Oh, that was amazing. <laughs> Recently, I was fingered for a crime, which is quite a harsh punishment. <laughs> I, I knew it. <laughs> yep, I got it. When I was young, I went out with an older woman who taught me that the best way to perform cunnilingus is to use your tongue to trace out the letters of the alphabet. So I learned how to do that, and I was pretty pleased with myself. And then she left me for a Chinese guy. <laughs> Those are the characters. <laughs> More elaborate. Well done on getting that one, by the way. That's excellent, right? Oh, I forgot to do this at the top. The venue asked me to, to read out an announcement on their behalf, so just, just let, me, let me do that now. Here, let me get this. Here we go. Uh, right. Um, we'd like to apologise unreservedly to the hen party we had in last night that we did not provide the stripper Mr Manhood they'd been expecting. We would also like to apologise to Mr Mahood for any embarrassment... <laughs> <laughs> I went to see the stalactites at Cheddar Gorge and our guide asked us not to try and crack one off and she wasn't even that attractive. <laughs> but I still managed. <laughs> it was very dark. This morning I went to a meeting in my premature ejaculator support group. It turns out it's tomorrow. <laughs> Early. <laughs> no, but I did suffer from premature ejaculation, which made me feel selfish. Bad for my girlfriend. And she suggested I try this special cream that reduces your sensitivity. And it really worked, because now I don't go about her. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he laughs in his jokes. That's how I would be as a comedian. I can't figure out his yeah. background. It's driving me crazy. My girlfriend says I'm not very romantic. The other day we were kissing on the sofa and she said, how about we take this into the bedroom? I said, all right, you get the other end. <laughs> <laughs> My girlfriend's dog died. So to cheer up, I got her an identical one. She was livid. What am I going to do with two dead dogs? Oh my God. <laughs> She always says, my problem is I never follow through on projects, so I shat on her stamp collection. <laughs> <laughs> I love how he can't get it out. I love it. <laughs> Valentine's Day, she got all upset when she found out that I'd wiped my knob on the box of chocolates I'd given her. Yeah. Luckily, I managed to come out of it smelling of roses. <laughs> <laughs> No, no. Uh, we're trying for a baby at the moment. Her mom's agreed to help out, you know, just till I get hard. <laughs> no. Oh my gosh. Oh man. How does the mom feel about that joke? I enjoy that image. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> I hate people who complain about breastfeeding in public, like, I don't want to see it, or that's disgusting, or you can't do that, you're not a woman. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, that's not worse. a baby. <laughs> it's definitely not milk. Oh my gosh, oh. it's so, so wrong. As a family, we couldn't decide whether to have Nana buried or cremated, so in the end, we let her live. <laughs> <laughs> I love your face right now. Nan's going to that suicide <laughs> clinic in Switzerland, but don't tell her, it's a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> Surprise. Thanks to the efforts of men like my granddad that we don't speak German today because he single-handedly killed 11 language teachers 
I started a celebrity magazine for the elderly. It's called Hello, 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 Hello. <laughs> my granddad's trying to keep up with new technology. I got a text off him the other day. I've had a stroke and now my head's hanging to one side. Lol. <laughs> 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 he asked me how to print on his new computer. I said, just control P. He said, I haven't been able to do that for years. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I can smell that one better. <laughs> My granddad went down in history and on one occasion fingered a girl in geography. <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> Can't do it. No. <laughs> no. Oh man, um, <laughs> she can attest that I love dad jokes, and I think of one-liners, kind of like dad jokes, but a little lazier. Uh, <laughs> dad jokes are lazier than yeah. one-liners. Um, <laughs> but man alive, I mean, I literally have tears in my eyes right now. That that was glorious. He was hilarious. <laughs> uh, not not meant for the faint of heart. So what? You seem like you were like struggling a little bit with that. Some of them were funny. Some of them were disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Some of them were not my sense of humor. Um, but some of them were funny. It wasn't that I was like necessarily struggling. It's just some things I was like, oh, oh, he's going there. Okay, <laughs> all right. But I also know that British tend to like their darker humor. They tend to like. Yes. Yeah. yeah. No, I see what you're saying. I was going to say, a lot of people can make those jokes, not just the British. No. But I, I see what you're saying. Um, yeah, I mean, a lot of them, you kind of had to understand it. So, like, even yes. if, like, a kid's watching this, not I'm saying a kid should watch these kind no. of videos. No, they but should But if they're not. watching it, they're probably not going to understand. They might repeat it and then get oh in a lot of gosh. trouble. Yeah. But I absolutely loved how he would <laughs> love some of the jokes that he can't even get it out. Yeah. Because, unfortunately, like, that's... That's how I am when I'm goofing around or I'm being sarcastic with my kids or my students or whatever. Like, if I know it's a good one, then I don't even give them a chance to laugh. I just start laughing because it just made me laugh. And, and you make fun of me for that all the time, but I just can't help it because... But I also get, like, I'm amazed at how comedians can slay these yes, jokes and, and never... not laugh. So when someone does, it makes me a little happy. No, and... I think when they laugh, they're enjoying themselves, and so it doesn't bother me at all. Like, I like that well, they're Well, laughing's so contagious. Them. Yeah. I like that, that they're enjoying themselves. And I, mean, I don't make fun of you to be mean. Like, I laugh at my own jokes, too. I'm always, oh, like... I know you're not being mean. I tell it's jokes true. all the time. I'm like, that's jokes. a knee slapper. And my students are just like... Well, yeah, I do. Hint, knee hint. slapper. It makes it even funnier. That's a knee slapper. That's not your knee. <laughs> That's terrible. That's a great one. It's a dad joke. Because every that's time it gets the, kid, the kids confused. <laughs> but that's not your knee. That's the whole point. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> um, curious, curious, curious. What, George. Uh, if he was dating Sarah Milliken at this time, what her and her mom think about some of those jokes? Is oh, that she's mom a one? Come on. I know. I'm sure. I'm sure. Like she thinks they're hilarious. But that, that mom one, I'm just like, what maybe does her mom think? Maybe there's some things you just don't say. And if, and if mom, mother-in-law's in the crowd, I won't tell that joke. <laughs> but at the same time, when you're a comedian, you got you to gotta do whatever. Sometimes I wonder, like, how much of this stuff is actually true, mm -hmm. based on truth, or completely made up. Yep. But we digress. Yep. I really, really enjoyed that. She enjoyed that somewhat. Um, some of the jokes weren't for her. Let us know what you thought about this video, this reaction. Let us know if you want us to check out some more from Gary Delaney. And with all that being said, don't forget to like and subscribe. Until next time. And hopefully you have a moment to look at the very end um, of this video and you just see his like poster at the wall. We'll just have to leave like one clip showing the poster at the wall. Just read some of those words. And you know, just